All right, welcome back, folks, to more Pool to Darkness. I managed to, well, I tried to rest here in this area where we just got done defeating the dragons, and I got a random encounter which interrupted the sleep. It wasn't too bad. I killed them, and then I was able to get off a of rest. So we are fully healed, which is good. Because we got us a battle with the Beholder, baby. Man Manchun's adjutant raves. Kill him, but quietly. Look at that motherfucker. Uh, beholders are a bad thing. They are super, super magic resistant, even more so than drow. And each one of the little tiny eye stalks can shoot out a different kind of attack. Um, they're bad motherfuckers. I love them so much, we're going to do a quick wiki search on them. This is a 5th edition, 5th edition Dungeons and Dragons stats. This is a terrible, terrible drawing. This, this fucking artist needs to fire himself. Uh, I've never seen a worse looking beholder. But anyways, they're trying to modernize it, I guess. Lawful Evil, they have armor class of 18, which of course in this edition the higher is the better. 180 hit points. Uh, you can see that they have great constitution and intelligence and charisma. Uh, saving throws are here. They speak a deep speech. They're worth 10 grand in XP. Uh, they have an anti-magic cone. The central eye creates an area of anti-magic uh, in a 150-foot cone. At the start of each of its turns, the beholder decides which way the cone faces and whether the cone is active. The area works against the Beholder's own eye rays. So here's what the eye rays do. He can shoot three of the following eye rays at random. He has a charm ray, which will charm, a paralyzed ray, a fear ray, a slow ray, an innervation ray, uh, which will do necrotic damage to you and quite a bit, a telekinetic ray, which will throw you uh, back against walls and shit, a sleep ray, a petrification ray, which is bad, uh, the disintegration ray, disintegrate your ass, uh, reduce you to zero hit points, and last but not least, the death ray. So yeah, they're pretty bad, and they've been giving legendary actions, which is kind of a new thing to 5th edition. The beholder is a stuff of nightmare. This creature is also called a sphere of many eyes, or an eye tyrant, it appears to be a large orb. Dominated by a central eye and a large toothy maw, and a s ten smaller eye stalks sprouting from the top of the orb. Among adventurers, beholders are known as deadly adversaries. They are hateful, aggressive, and avaricious, an avaricious race, attacking or dominating other races, including other beholders and many of the beholder ken. This is because of the xenophobic intolerance among beholders that taught them to hate all creatures not like themselves. The basic beholder body type allows for a great variety of beholder subspecies. Some have obvious differences, those that are covered with overlapping chitin plates, and those with smooth hides or snake-like eye tentacles, and some with crustacean-like joints. But something as small as a change in hide color or size of a central eye can make two groups of beholders sworn enemies. Every beholder declares its own unique body form to be the true ideal of beholderhood. The others being nothing but ugly copies, fit only to be eliminated. The beholders will attack, will normally attack immediately, so they're not very friendly, uh, even with their own, you know, kind. The exact reproductive process of the beholder is unknown. The core racial hatred of beholders may derive from the nature of the reproduction, which seems to produce identical or nearly so individuals with only slit margin of variation. Beholders may use parthenogenic reproduction to duplicate themselves and give birth live. No beholder eggs have ever been found. All right. Let's hopefully not die. You are stuck behind a wall. That's not ever good. Can't see shit. We got a salamander, a beholder, and a fire giant. <laughs> the beholder, he looks like he's hung over. Fucking drooling shit. Uh, you're stuck anyway, so.
Holy shit, he just tried to fuck me. Well... This is a take no prisoner's bell. Okay, that's good. That, I can breathe now. I need a numpad bad. It's the only reason I have to use this fucking mouse. All right. Probably some good shit here, I'd imagine. Magical darts, some magical boats, and a magical ring, I'm assuming. I think that's a ring of cold resistance, but I am not 100% sure. Let's go ahead and save. On B for backup, because that battle went well. Save again, now that we're healed. Okay, now one thing you want to do from here is you want to make sure Trand or anyone has their silver shield equipped. Which is one of the reasons why we picked up Tran. Uh, even though we really didn't need to because Ronstock has one. Uh, Ronstock has one. And he is the only one with one. So, but if no one had a silver shield, you definitely want to pick up Trand. And you will see why here shortly. Suddenly a great voice shakes the tower. It's recorded in journal entry 26. Those of you still squirming will regret every moment. I am called away from my great spell. You will envy those already safe within the icy clasp of Lord Bane. For I have released my keen-eyed pet into the corridors of the tower. Meet the gout. The great voice dies away with a chuckle. <laughs> oh, excuse me. What is a fucking gelt? Man shins unleashed a fearsome pet. If it sees you, there will be no end to your suffering. From nowhere you feel a painful gaze. The gelt's eyes look on Ronstock. She hides behind her 
mirrored shield. Hey, Ronstock is a male. Hello, I identify as a he, her, he and him. <laughs> the gelt looks on itself. It is destroyed. So, <laughs> why the fuck did it call me a she? Fucking douchebag. Um, anyways, maybe it was talking about the gelt. I don't know. Uh, maybe I misread that. <laughs> anyways, you need a reflective shield to not die. Some other things you can do are cast invisibility. Uh, and some others, there's some other ways to get past. But now we can continue to level four. The final level of the tower. Manchun's lower chamber. In its center is an intricate diagram. In the center of it, a necklace gleams. All right, we're definitely taking the fucking treasure. Are you kidding me? Booyah. A spell takes effect. Fuck. A crystal wall. An evil laugh. It's recorded in journal entry 59. That evil laugh is... <laughs> You presume to think that your puny efforts could distract me? Without a pause, my great intellect has folded you into a solution for larger problems. I wish to gather higher tribute from the drow. In my tomes, I have found the name of a creature who will help me subjugate them, and the dreary fool Marcus and that imbecile Arkham, too. You will help me welcome my new friend here in my conjurer's circle. He will dine splendidly on your bones." Words spill from his lips as he begins the incantation. Manchun aims to create an evil being inside the crystal walls with you. With a flourish, he finishes the spell. A creature appears. It's a harpy woman. Manchu gapes dumbfounded. Who are you? The woman's eyes narrow. Who dare summon me and not know my name? Insolent wretch! The woman hisses quickly. The one you venture through the wall to face this meddling dolt? Oh, she's asking me. Quickly, will one of you venture through this wall to face this meddling dolt? Yes, of course. Uh, Ronstock will. The hag flicks a finger at Ronstock. Ronstock is transported through the wall. A foot scuffs the diagram. The crystal wall shatter. Freed, the harpy lunges at Manchun. Manchun flees like a little bitch in terror as the creature tears the room apart. He dives out of the door and is gone. The roof is collapsing. Debris rains down. Lilith and Chiral are fucked up. So we need to get out of here because uh, the place is falling apart. There is no treasure to get up there. I checked. So yeah, that's pretty much all you can do if uh, you don't go into the diagram. Uh, you can shoot at Manchun to disrupt the spell. Uh, there's a couple other options, but it all ultimately leads to that witch harpy, devil bitch or whatever. Uh, destroying the tower and him fleeing. There's no way to kill him. No, no treasure to get that I know of. Maybe there is, but through my... Uh, my small amount of research, I didn't see anything. So that's why I grabbed the necklace. I think it's a necklace of magic missiles, so why not fucking get the necklace if it's the same outcome anyway? Uh, down to level two here. Let's go ahead and save just in case we do run into something. I think now there will be less encounters. Get to bust on out of here.
And halts. I won't go out. There are slaves down below. They need help. Fuck. Yeah, but I need to... Go on without me if you must. Go on? Uh, no. I got all this shit I need to unload, though. She wants to go do these, uh... This drow shit now. See, we got all this shit. It's going to slow us down big time. And the, the drow levels are pretty big. And I want to go get my levels. I, but if we drop her, the thing is we're going to miss out on, like, you know, dialogue that she has. She has insight on where the slaves are. Shit. And join them because we don't know what magic level they're at. I mean, I guess we're all still at nine movement and 12. It's hard to be at 12 anyways. All right, let's hang on to her for now. And we're going to dive right into these drow dungeons, I guess. Here we are. All right, let's get it on. I had many drow drag slaves out of a great wagon. As they pull people out, a spider leaps on each one. Once bitten, the human is docilely led away. A sharp-eyed drow spots you. I really hate drow. Jesus Christ, those are all priests. <laughs> oh, goodness. That's a fucking problem. I think you need to go back to your bow and arrow, Tran, or you're going to get fucked up. Dude. I mean, 
this is fucking terrible. <laughs> hey, they got that resistance. Can't be fucking around with these guys. A lot of experience, but damn. <laughs> now the spiders rush us. So where there's drow, there are spiders. Spiders don't like fireballs, but too bad I'm out of fucking fireballs. I got this crazy fireball. I like these too. Charge! Hope we're able to rest after this. This doesn't look like a good place to rest at all. But this dark well room might be. Feeling fucking groovy. So we there's the drow stronghold, the drow slave pits, and Khaleesi's temple, which is the first like boss of pools of darkness. We have to destroy the you know the four gods or whatever um i think what we'll do is finish trans 
little quest line here, which is which is, involves just this level, and then we will retreat back, unload our shit, and level our fucking guys, because it's just gonna make us bigger, better, and stronger to get down to Kalista's temple, and we obviously want to be uh, as powerful as possible before we fight a goddess. You know, you know what I'm fucking saying, y'alls. All right, we're feeling groovy. Can always retreat out of here if we have to. Ah, uh, fuck. All right, we'll take two out of three. And a dead mage to boot. I don't like fucking mages. I'm going to disintegrate a bitch. <laughs> See ya. You're in the fucking way. I'm sorry, Tran. Trend is confused. <laughs> no, random battle. Not going to be any great treasure there. Wondering if I should just go for yeah. I mean, we might as well get some XP right while we're down here. I don't know. Drow battles just scare the shit out of me. Definitely need to save after every battle. Either way, now we're gonna start saving on C because we're gonna start delving deeper into this depthy dungeon. And I don't want to get caught with my panties down. But in order to get them to flee this area, apparently you do have to disrupt as many of their uh, disrupt as many of their rituals and whatever they got going on. So it sounds like you just battle until they finally flee. Drow Legion, stand by. Be gone, creatures of light. No, fuck you. We fight.
Alrighty, well, let's get into this shit. I'll oh, fuck the behind me too. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> this is real bad. We should have fucking just skipped this room. All right, let's give it a wing. Priests are going to be way more of a pain in the ass than the mages. I'm not really worried about the mages at all. As soon as they cast that hold, they fuck. <laughs> the sorcerers can also fuck you up, so... go for this caster. Didn't even get him. Fuck. Yep. Hopefully, Fidget got bandaged. <laughs> it's over now. It is fucking over. Looking grim, folks. Looking grim. Now, you can en enter this area from another direction, but um, I don't know if it's any better. This seems...
This seems like a bad situation all, all together here. I'm just going all out, fuck it. That won't kill Ron Stock, so. That will! might win this. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to be able to heal. I mean, we're obviously going to win this, but the question is, is did we manage to bandage everybody? A lot of experience went to everybody else. All right, fuck me. I don't think there's going to be anything of value there, of extra value, anyways. Yep, that's it for that. We need to make it back to the other room. We's dead here. So, <laughs> we actually did come from the, the, the bad way. We should have come from the, the, the prisons here. Uh, we made that a lot harder on ourselves. But it looks like we made it back to the room that will save us. It was good XP for the people that survived. All right, let's head back.
Karen says, the central hall that takes slaves to the north and south. The drow prince always went east. Shackles line every wall. Drow barracks. They see him empty. But you uncover a drow ambush. That was a good thing where you were using the, the, the fucking look command there. We would have got fucked up. Uh, the fuck happened there? <laughs> that sucked ass. Guys are resistant as fuck, man. Oh, I hope this works. Magic resistant bastards, man, really makes our mages fucking a lot less effective. God damn it. Just hit the fucking button on myself. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I've never done that. Yeah. 
Holy shit. Down to one hit point. Yeah, I don't think any of that's worth anything. We are beat the fuck up. Evil on patrol. We healed, but we lost. Uh, we weren't able to get our spells back. Come on. Ah! I think it would be faster to reload. All right, let's try this again. I don't think we're even going to rust. I think we're just going to go for it. Arrow singing from the right. Ronstock is hit. Trend is hit. Go on. Yes. A dark well. Well, we like dark wells because we can usually get away with rusting by them. All I had to do was go get hit by the ambush there. You corner drought archers. It doesn't look like drought archers. It looks like fucking magic users. God damn it. Yeah. You and your weak ass fireball.
I guess they can just... <laughs> doesn't matter if they get hit or not. They're casting. That makes them fucking very dangerous. They got those innate fireballs. When the shit goes down, you better be ready. When the shit goes down. I don't give a fuck about your treasure. You're getting afraid. Did you see that? Drow skirmishes fled from me. They're afraid of the game order. Bringing the pain. A footfall behind you? A ladder goes down. Go on. Yeah, of course. Behind you, the ladder is drawn up out of reach. Asshole. Slackface slaves moves listlessly about. No drow in sight. Trance sniffs. Something's up. I'll go in disguise to see what... See what's what. She composes herself and moves out, mimicking the quick mincing steps of a drow. Suddenly a drow voice hisses, then another. Tran shouts a drow command. All the slaves sink obediently to the floor, revealing a drow ambush. Bows twain, Tran falls. This is the final battle for Tran's quest line anyways. Hopefully it is just these guys. Okay, we need to get rid of these sorcerers as quickly as possible. Fortunately, I am right next to him, and if I try to move, I'm going to get hit. So... Wow, got one. Must have had a bad roll. You are in a perfect place. I wish we had more than one fucking lightning bolt. <laughs> she did not appreciate that. Hey, if we can hold one, we can hold another. Let's keep trying.
Just because it's fucking fun. Ah! Lay you down to sleep, bitches. Uh, yeah. Nothing worth the weighing us down for. Trend is woozy with poison. Took one in the arm. Maybe I should stay. Leave these people out of here. Yes, you should. Because if we don't let her go, she ends up falling into a trap door later. And she can't help the slaves at all. So, this sounds like a better ending for her. The captive slowly recover. One speaks to you. It's recorded in Journal 77. Freed, the slaves of the drow shake off the effects of spider poison and rummage about for weapons. A man tells you, if you're going to go on, you have a scary choice ahead. They divided up the slaves here. Most went to the right. If you want to free them, go that way. A few of the most beautiful were taken to the left. They were never seen again. The most beautiful, eh? You've caught Ronstock's attention. All right, so at this point, we are going to flee back to Zentil Keep, train, and unload our magic shit. And uh, I guess we can start heading that way now. But I was going to do most of that off camera. So Fidget and Chiral are the only ones that haven't leveled. Sadly. Unfortunately. It'd be nice if we could get those up a level. Let's see. He's 15. Ah, oh, that's because Lilith hasn't had her 15th level yet. Fidget missed out on a bunch of experience. I believe his gets divided anyways by two, so that makes sense. Yeah, his gets divided. Round stock with what? 227... 2 million? 2,271,335. 2 I think he is the leader. As it should be, baby. So anyways, let's start heading out of here. Can't go back and rest. Oh, shit, Umber Hawks. Remember hawks and carrion crawlers. Holy fucking shit, man.
You know, it would have been nice if they would have at least uh, <laughs> put a couple different dying noises instead of the same, ah, ah, same shit over and over again. We're going to try to rest. I'm going to save on C. All right, I think we'll just see you guys in the next video and we will continue forth, maybe without resting, but fuck this battle.